So far, we've covered many aspects of using cloud operations to improve the observability and reliability of your services running on Google Cloud. But how should you approach setting up and using the suite as your cloud footprint grows? Today, we'll look at some enterprise best practices that you can use to get the most value out of cloud operations. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. Before we start, let's take a step back and answer this simple question. Why do we do all of these things? What are we trying to achieve overall when using a suite like Cloud Operations? Ultimately, we're after three main objectives. The first one is to ensure that our services are secure and that we comply with policies and regulations that are specifically relevant in our context. That means we need to manage things like data access and an audit trail. The second one is the objective we've talked about in just about every episode, keeping our users happy. That means we need to know if user experience degrades, hopefully by using SLOs, and what to do about it. The final goal is managing the capacity required to run our services while ensuring that we optimize for cost. With that said, we'll tackle best practices for setting up and using cloud operations by focusing on these three key areas. The first one, and the one we'll focus on today, will be best practices for the enterprise. We'll cover setting up a centralized logging and monitoring environment, ensuring audit trail, and configuring data retention and access. The next episode, we'll address best practices for using cloud monitoring specifically. We'll get into what to monitor, how to do it, how to manage alerts, and how to optimize your monitoring costs. The final episode on this topic will cover best practices for cloud logging. We'll get into what and how to log, how to use the logs your services generate, and how to optimize your logging costs. This is going to be a lot, but I think you're ready. Let's get into it. Let's start by talking about enterprise best practices. The first recommendation is to centralize monitoring, auditing, and observability data in a single place. For services running on Google Cloud, we recommend using cloud operations to do just that. Having this information in a single repository with easy cross-team access greatly improves practices like architecture design, incident response, and root cause analysis. For example, if I know the historical reliability track record of my dependencies, I can better architect my own service to meet my reliability objectives. At the same time, I can do a better job of incident response if I can see whether the services I depend on are having an incident. It's really difficult to do things like this without having all this information in a single place. The second recommendation is to ensure that a clear and easily accessible audit trail exists for your services. This means using cloud audit logs to help answer questions like who did what, where, and when, in your Google Cloud projects and managing IAM controls to limit who has access to view audit logs. We've covered using audit logs in detail in another video. We'll link to it in the show notes. As you make audit log configuration changes, use a test Google Cloud project to validate them before propagating to developer and production projects. When considering how you grant access to audit logs across the organization, we recommend using a least privilege approach to granting permissions. We'll link to specific examples of that in the episode notes. Note that data access audit logs are off by default, except for BigQuery. When you enable new Google Cloud services, evaluate whether or not to enable data access audit logs for that new service. The final recommendation for enterprises is to thoughtfully manage log retention and analysis. Consider the various retention needs for compliance requirements, security and access analytics, and event analytics. We'll link to documentation explaining specific considerations for each scenario in the episode notes. The first way to do this is by using log views. You can use log views to control who has access to logs within your log buckets based on your needs and requirements. Custom log views provide you with a granular way to control access to the logs in your log buckets. You can also carefully control log retention by using project level or aggregated syncs to export logs to BigQuery, Cloud Storage, and PubSub for analytics, archival, or consumption by other systems. Each of these do have their own mechanisms for controlling retention and access, and you should carefully consider those as you plan your retention strategy. Thanks for joining me today. We covered best practices for setting up and using cloud operations in the enterprise, including centralizing data, managing audit trail, and configuring data retention. I hope these recommendations help you keep your services secure and your users happy. In our next episode, we'll tackle best practices for using cloud monitoring. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.